Hi, welcome to another video. So, creating a micro software as a service, or micro SaaS, can be really hard. Because you not only need to create the app, but you also need to add things like authentication, database, mailing, blog, payments, and whatnot. Doing all this with AI can be quite a bit challenging. However, today I have something that serves as a boilerplate and aims to fix these issues for you, so you can focus on the stuff that matters. This is called Micro SaaS Fast. It gives you all the essential SaaS modules out of the box. You get authentication, user profiles, Stripe payments, transactional emails, a dashboard, SEO, a blog CMS, and a landing page, all pre-built and integrated. It's designed so you can skip the repetitive setup and focus on your actual product. You just clone the repo, install dependencies, set your environment variables, and you're already 90% done with the infrastructure. It will save you up to 50 hours of software development. It saves you a lot of time by implementing everything in one place. It has all the things you'd need, like Stripe, Clerk for authentication, Resend for mail, a database with Prisma and Postgre, as well as a blog with WordPress. What you can do is take this boilerplate, clone it, and then fire up something like Cursor, Windsurf, or Klein. Then just set up your databases, authentication, and other stuff. Start with the boilerplate. Ask your AI coder like Windsurf or Cursor, or just write some JS code yourself to make whatever you want and your code can make that by making amendments to this boilerplate and molding it in any way you want. But now, let me show you how you can use it to make your first SaaS as well. So, once you have it, you'll get access to this repo. You also get the documentation for the boilerplate here as well. It has all the implementation details you'd ever need. You just need to head over to the Get Started option and here you'll see all the steps you need to follow. Basically, you just need to clone the repo and then set up the environment variables for each thing, including Supabase database, Stripe, and some more stuff. If you just want to get started for now, you can go ahead and only set up Clerk for now, as that is a major dependency. So, you can just get that done accordingly and run the development server with npm run dev, and you'll see it running. This is simple, and you get the landing page, authentication, and everything here. But we don't just need this, we also need the main app. So, let's say I'm building an app that is a tool that allows users to give a script and convert it into speech with the Gemini 2.5 Flash models. This is a simple example that will allow you to understand how you can mold it to whatever you want to make. Now, it has all the major components you'd ever need. So, just open it up in whatever AI editor you prefer. I'm going to use Windsurf here, as that's the one I like best, but you can also use Cursor if you wish. Now, once it's opened, just tell Windsurf that this is a boilerplate code and I'm just going to give it the API specification documentation of Gemini Flash Speech, Gen API, and tell it to create me an app that uses this API and allows me to give it a script and convert that into speech. If you want to give it a proper prompt to use, then you can something like O3 and ask it to make you a prompt that is detailed. Also, before sending, enable the plan mode first because that works best as the code base here is big, and it works well when it has a list of tasks to do first. So, just do that, and in a bit, it will give you the tasks to follow. Just head back to edit mode, ask it to do the changes, and then in a bit, you'll see that it will get done. By the way, using this boilerplate, you can launch and test many ideas easily at the same time it did this pretty well. And if I go ahead and check, you can see that we have the basic here that works well. Now, 
You'd obviously want to go ahead and connect it to a database, implement subscriptions, and stuff like that. So, what I'll recommend is that you can go ahead and use a fetch MCP server or the firecrawl MCP server and give it the link to the documentation itself, and it can go ahead and scrape the info on how to implement each thing correctly. So, just give it that and ask it to implement whatever you want to do. It has all the building blocks for things like database, consistent UI components, and everything. And AI will automatically know what to do when you ask it to do something. You can just go ahead and prompt in the order of what you want, and it will just work. All you need to do is set up the environment variables, and Sonnet should be able to handle the rest. Once you have figured out everything and have created your app, you can easily get this deployed as well. They have a tutorial on how to do that as well. Generally, you'd want to deploy it to something like Vercel or Netlify. So, you can just push the stuff you've done to the GitHub repo, then get the environment variables and everything configured there. And it is fully ready with all the stuff to be deployed without any issues. In a bit, it will get deployed which is pretty seamless and awesome. With this boilerplate, it takes almost nothing for you to build a full micro SaaS in literal seconds without messing around with things like integrations that can take a lot of time. These are also the things that AI is not good at because it is ever-changing with new specifications and whatnot. But with this, you always get a working base to build on and it will just get the stuff done for you. I found it really amazing and easy to prototype off this crazy boilerplate that saves a ton of time when you use it. I have been using it a lot, and it really saves you a ton of time and effort every day when you are building an app for creating micro SaaS applications because you can keep reusing it after buying it once, allowing you to create as much micro SaaS apps as you want and deploying them to see what sticks and what doesn't. It makes prototyping a working app insanely fast. I have been using it a lot for creating apps that are deployable almost every day. And even if you code by hand, it comes in really handy to have everything set up. You can check out this micro SaaS fast Next.js boilerplate created by Dennis Babic through the link in the description. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.